Okay, I'm going to talk to you about getting your breakout rooms ready before your students are in the room. I've logged into my Zoom meeting and there are no students here yet, but I can go ahead and create my breakout rooms ahead of time. I click the icon on the bottom that says breakout rooms and the um, menu comes up and it tells me how many rooms I can create. Um, you can create um, at least 50, maybe more, but I only need four rooms right now. Um, if I had 50 kids, I could create 25 rooms and they would randomly become partners. Um, automatically means that Zoom will assign your students into rooms randomly. Manually means that you can select which students go where. So I'm going to select manually because I have specific groups. And then I click breakout rooms. Um, I would like to rename my breakout rooms the title of my books that we are studying and I really recommend renaming your breakout rooms so that you can keep track of who is where it's easier to go um, back and forth as your visiting rooms and it gives uh, students another point of making sure that they are in the right space. If I decide to add a room or I forgot one it's easy you just click add a room name that one and then if I get into my meeting, no one from Esperanza shows up, I can delete that room. It's pretty simple. Under options, you can change the amount of time that they're in the breakout rooms. You can choose one minute, two minutes, 30 minutes, 120 minutes. I only want them in there for 10 minutes right now. And you can also choose um, what kind of morning they get. So they'll get, when 10 minutes is up, they'll get 30 more seconds to kind of wrap up their discussion and then come back to the main room. And that's it for this one.